In this video today, I am going to be showing you different basketball drills that will help you attack the basket or get your shot off faster in game. The idea here is to be able to react as fast as possible, keep your dribbles to a minimum, and to gain an advantage against your defender. Let's get down and let's check this out. Really quickly, if you're a basketball player looking to become a better shooter, make sure to go check out my shooting workout that is down in the description below. In this first video, I have myself defending David and also a Desiree as well in this clip, or at least in this video. But the idea here is for David or Desiree to be able to get to the rim within two or three dribbles max and create contact with myself. You will never be able to get to that rim if you have a defender. You'll never be able to get to that rim in a game if you don't make contact with them. Basketball is a contact sport. And if you can make contact with your defender first, you will be able to have the advantage over your defender. So here, you want to make contact early, and then you want to then make your move so that you can get to the rim much easier. In this next drill, same thing. However, now we want to make that quick hit on that defender and then use that to create a gap between ourselves and our defender so that we can pull for the mid-range shot. We all want to be that three-level score where you can score at the rim, score in the mid-range, and then score at the three-point line. At the three-point line, a lot of our scoring is going to be from set shots or coming off of a screen or a dribble handoff. While in the mid-range and in the the low post what we're going to find is we need to make contact first with our defender and then that will allow us to get our shot off you need to create that contact so that you create that space now going with the idea of attacking quickly we want to now receive that pass while running from the half court line to the point there's a lot of times where we can be a trailer in our offense and as soon as you get that reverse pass back at the point you need to then attack quickly and whether that's an, a quick in and out cross or a quick crossover through the legs or whatever we just need to be able to change up our crossovers maybe a killer cross whatever it may be but something quick crossover because you're going to have a defender there anyways get around him and then finish with the layup or now finish with that jump shot quick one or two crossovers and then pull for that shot or attack the rim now this can be done with a defender as well but the idea here is just to be able to do it quickly no contact just so that we can work on our shot and our finish now, like I was mentioning earlier, a lot of our three-point shots are going to be either off the dribble, off the catch, or off of a dribble handoff screen something. So now, what we want to do is to dribble in from half, quickly pull for that three-point shot at the point. Now, this is something that David does a lot in game, not just because he practices it, but because when you come down on a 2-3 zone as a point guard and they're not guarding you, you either split the gap and you go between the top two defenders and you score, or if you feel confident in your shot, like David has a very good three-point shot, you can pull that three right from the point. And then, what's if especially if you hit that shot, that's going to pull the other team either out of the zone or it's going to pull them out of the three-point line, which now creates gaps for your teammates to be able to score. Now, in our final drill, we're going to be coming from the corner up to the wing. We're going to be trying to do that as fast as we can. We're going to stop, go behind our back, and pull for the three. Now, what this is actually going to help us with is, of course, footwork, our ability to cross over and shoot. That's all the basics of what we're working on here. However, this is actually something that you can use in-game because you're going to be coming off of a screen, most likely, at least with some teams, when it's, when it's a screen for the corner player. It's actually a very deadly area to set a screen because you can hit the, the roll man along the baseline and then he has options for scoring or passing. Or coming off of a screen and roll in the corner, you can pull for a three-point shot. And this is one of the ways, plus you're learning the footwork, so that you can pull for that three-point shot. 
Now, if you want to become a better three-point shooter or somebody who can shoot from further away from the rim, make sure to go check out my shooting workout that is down in the description below because that is going to help you build the strength to be able to shoot from further away. I hope that this video and these basketball drills help you become a better basketball player. If they do, hit that like button and subscribe and tell David and Desiree that they did a fantastic job in this video because they worked super hard. I'll see you guys again in my next video.